Hey guys, it's Jules with Stop Drop Disney. Happy Tuesday. Today I'll be sharing all things Corpse Bride. So I have this awesome Corpse Bride lounge fly that I'll be doing a full review of. And I also wanted to show you my Halloween costume, which I decided to be the Corpse Bride for Halloween. I thought since I was just a bride, what better Halloween costume than the Corpse Bride? So very excited about that as well. So if you're interested in hearing more about my costume and the lounge, Fly, please keep watching and if you love Disney lounge fly collectibles any of those fun things subscribe for more fun videos like this one all right guys so I actually took a mental health day today I was feeling really burnt out from work and just running around non-stop so I'm feeling relaxed kind of in a Zen mode today and very excited that I have time to do this review for you Sometimes you just need to give yourself a little something back and don't be afraid to take a mental health day if you need one because we all get tired out sometimes and yesterday I could tell at work that I needed it. So happy to be filming this for you guys and just enjoying uh, talking about what I love. So with that said, let's jump right in. So I did get this Corpse Bride Lounge Fly from Amazon and I had an Amazon gift card so I was really excited that I didn't pay anything for this bag because it was all covered by my gift card so the one thing to check when you're shopping on Amazon because they do have some nice lounge fly bags even including exclusives to Amazon in some in some <clears throat> cases um, is just make sure that wherever it's coming from, so like the sold by, shipped by part says either a store you're familiar with or lounge fly, um, because you never know what you're getting sometimes. And yes, Amazon's pretty good about returns, but one time I thought I was ordering a Tamagotchi a long, long time ago. And what I received was totally different from the image. And yes, I fell for a little bit of a scam there. So when I ordered this bag, I definitely checked where it was being shipped from. And the small shop 707 was actually selling this bag on Amazon. So I felt confident that what I would receive would be well packaged. And I'm very happy that I was able to get it on Amazon. So with that said, let's start from the bottom up. So I think that the bouquet really stands out on this bag, but doesn't take away from Emily's face or you knowing what this bag is about from the start. So if you're a Corpse Bride fan, immediately you get really excited when you see this bag. And I thought um, having the bouquet on there was a really, really nice detail and something that I was hoping they would do what they usually do, which is finish Emily's face with inside the, the front pocket. And they did, and she looks gorgeous. So I really love that they did that and didn't disappoint. And then, and then you have this nice detail of like all of these artificial flowers that pop out from the bag. And there's also like a nice sort of lace on top of this white backing. So it's really pretty. It gives it a really nice soft look and you know you don't have to worry about the lace so much because it's protected by the white um, backing but I still will probably be careful not to get anything near this bag that's gonna hook onto it or like velcro that might pull it or anything like that just because this is a nice like soft fabric they have in between the artificial flowers and the backing of the white pocket but really, really pretty. I love how they did the bouquet and it's just such a fun detail. And this bag is full of so many details. In fact, I think it is the most detailed lounge fly that I have. Um, and I don't, take, I don't say that lightly. Um, so moving on to yet another detail, they have maggot as the zipper pull on this. 
and I thought that was a really exciting, nice touch because Maggot is always with Emily, the corpse bride, so it, he had to be incorporated in this bag. So really nice. Does kind of get a little bit hidden sometimes with the bouquet on the front, but it's still going to be something that you're going to notice that you're going to love owning this bag. Then moving up, of course, Emily has these huge, really expressive eyes and this bag does not disappoint with getting that across and you knowing immediately who this is. And so I just love that expression as she's looking over the top of the bouquet. And then you also have this beautiful veil detail. So the veil is actually pretty close, pretty tight to the bag, which I do appreciate because it it gives you less of a chance of it actually tearing or catching on something but there's definitely a little bit of room at the top mine got sort of folded back so you can see there's like a fold here that isn't always on all of these bags just in the packaging it folded a little doesn't it doesn't bother me um but if you wanted to you could probably train it back um or use like a light steamer but i would be very very careful if you did that so I'm probably just gonna leave it the way it is. And I just like that they gave you all this texture on the front of the bag, it's gorgeous. And then not just that, they have embossed the whole body of the bag from the side pocket all the way up and around to the other side. And then you have your nice plaque here with Loungefly and the Corpse Bride and so it's just they really did not have to do the embossing with all the butterflies but i love it it's just so gorgeous you don't go from the front of the bag being like amazing to being boring on the sides they really nailed it with this i think because the front of the bag is so bright and has so many different rich colors they went with a nice base color and to bring that to life, they embossed it with the butterflies. So I really do love how they did that. She's got her little crown that sticks up over the top of the bag a bit. Really gorgeous details. And then as you go to the back of the bag, the straps have a pattern. They're gorgeous. I think this is a pop that this bag needed from to keep the interest from the front of the bag to the back of the bag. It's got a nice like rose print on it and I'm just, this is my first lounge fly that has a pattern, I believe my first that has a pattern on the straps other than the Cheshire Cat does have stripes but I'm just hoping, and if anybody knows, that there's no like wearing on, on this um, in terms of like the pattern like wearing off. So I will be gentle with these straps and careful with them and hopefully that won't happen. That's the only thing that I would be a little bit worried about. But that said, they're really gorgeous so I'm very happy about these straps and I love that they use the pattern here. And then that's not all they gave us a back hit so it says I love you but you're not mine and it has this really beautiful romantic image on it um, and I love that I think it's gorgeous it makes me sad it makes me emotional but I think it's so cute and I love it and then just wait it does have a cool lining on the inside so really gorgeous lining it does not have a zipper pocket but it does have a nice big pocket where you could put um, you know a phone or little things um, that you're carrying around like lip gloss that kind of thing so it does have a nice at least pocket area where it can easily get things in and out um, but that's the only thing that I know some people do prefer the zipper pocket when they have it in a bag, but it doesn't really bother me. I do have a few bags that don't have a zipper pocket. A bunch of mine do because a lot of them are exclusives and the exclusives have tended to have the zipper pockets. But that said, you have plenty of usable space. You've got your side pockets as well that are lined with that same pattern that's on the inside of the bag. The front of the front pocket, so not the side that shows Emily's face, but the other side does also have patterning on it as well. So yeah, I'm thrilled with this bag. 
I think it's going to be so fun to wear out. I'm excited to wear it with my costume. And with that, I will transition to talking about my costume. So I have actually done cosplay in the past and I've created costumes from scratch. Um, this time I, d I haven't had a lot of time. I've been running around. So I wanted to focus on just creating my makeup for the look, but I did get my costume from Spirit Halloween, which means you can also get the same costume from Spirit Halloween. So I got this costume and I did online see a couple different versions of the Corpse Bride costume, but this one is licensed. And cause you know, sometimes when you see costumes, they'll have some other kind of name on it, like, um, the instead of saying the corpse bride or emily the corpse bride this would say the the dead bride or something like that because they can't use the corpse bride but this is fully licensed and you even have some imagery of e emily from the movie on the packaging so you know that it's going to be pretty nice um and close to what you would like from from the movie so it does not this pack does not come with the wig but it actually came with a fair amount so it came with the dress the headband with attached veil and fingerless gloves they also had next to it a headband that you could buy maybe if you weren't buying this set or if you don't like the headband that came with this set i have not opened it up fully so maybe i'll open it up with you to take a closer look at the headband but they're on the same rack they were advertising another headband that was a floral headband those flowers that she has in her hand i didn't get them because i feel like i'm going to be moving around a lot i have my lounge fly that i'll carry that has flowers and i just didn't need to spend an extra 12 dollars to get the the faux flowers but i do think that they're cute and if you want to pull this full look together they do have that available so this costume was $59.99 and then I also got the wig that they had the corpse bride wig that they had in store I do even from when I cosplayed um, I do not have any blue wigs so I think this will be cute and I'll probably reuse the wig for other um, outfits or cosplays in the future and this was $24.99 but let's take a closer look at some of the pieces that are inside the full costume kit. So they do have things nicely separately wrapped, which is good because there is a lace on the dress. And so you don't want to get that um, caught on anything. And then this headband does look very similar. Maybe it's a little bit more crushed than the headband that was in the store, but the headband that was in the store next to it did not have a veil attached. So, or at least I didn't see a veil that attached to it. So I think this will be really cute. And the fact that it has the veil is really handy. Um, I'm holding the flowers upside down, so sorry about that. It'll be more like this. So I, you probably could add flowers to make it a little bit more full. Um, I will just fluff these up and kind of see how it looks. It looks like you can bend them a little bit. You can definitely bend them into place more so. And I think that this will come together in the wig if I just like fluff it up a bit. I don't think that I'll probably add a lot to it, if anything. And the veil is like super long. So that's nice as well because Emily has long hair as well. And then it also came with fingerless gloves. I think they did offer other, a glove alternative in the store. Um, so I should have got my nails done in blue because that would have been probably better for this look. But so these are a little small and I have small hands. I don't know if I'm putting these on wrong, but they're, they're a little bit tight. So I don't know how long I'll leave these on. Um, let me try putting it on my pointer finger. Uh, yeah, they're a little bit tight on me. So the other thing I didn't mention is my the costume that I 
grabbed from the store it was actually the only costume that they had up front maybe they had more in back so it was the last one um, and it was a medium eight to ten so they also have a small size four to six and a large size 12 to 14 so they have a lot and there is just a look at the gown so if you want to see more of what this costume looks like i will be putting photos on my instagram after i wear it for my party on saturday the 22nd so uh, look for those if you follow me on instagram and if you want to see another video where i show photos uh, or I'm actually in the the outfit let me know in the comments I may or may not do that I'm like as far as dressing up again in it but definitely I'll have photos probably and video of some sort on my Instagram and if people wanted to see it again on YouTube then I'll probably use photos or video that I've already taken for that um, but I'd be happy to do it if there's enough of an interest so with that said, I hope you guys have a great week. For my new Emos followers, I will be posting some new Emos content soon. Um, for YouTube, I'm waiting for a Maleficent costume to come in from Sleeping Apple. I'm really excited about that. I also want to talk a bit about the advent calendar that released. So right now I have not ordered it. I am going to wait to see if they put it on sale. I understand if I added everything up, it would probably be at value for what they're charging for it, which is like $150, but that's not what I want to spend on an advent calendar. So I'm just hoping that there'll be some sales if it's still in stock that like Black Friday or something like that, there'll be um, some sales on it. But that said, I think it's really cute, but I already did get some really nice holiday outfits from Sleeping Apple last year, and I'm sure they're gonna come out with some more really awesome holiday outfits this year. So if I had to choose between what Shop Disney provides and Sleeping Apple, I would probably lean towards Sleeping Apple. Um, always, they're just really, really great quality and beautiful and so I have a snowman outfit from them already which I know is one of the outfits that comes in the shop Disney advent calendar but I do like what they have in there I think the Christmas tree is cute that they can wear and the other thing is I already have Mickey and Minnie I think if you didn't have Mickey and Minnie and even though this is an alternative version I still feel like I have them so I don't really need another set of them but for those that did get it, I'm sure you're going to love it. It's going to be awesome. Just for me, it's a little bit outside of what I want to spend right now on a gift for myself. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's really cool that they did this. I hope that in future, maybe they'll learn from like, because I have seen a lot of pushback on the price. So maybe next year they'll offer sort of an in-between price or more than one option. Um, but I'm hoping they'll release some holiday outfits, some more holiday outfits as we get closer to, um, you know, the countdown to Christmas as well. So with that said, I'll let you guys go and I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye everyone.